How's it going my beautiful people? I am back with another Dying Light 2 video and today I just want to talk about the 1000 bug fixes dropping with a day one patch. 1000 people. Jesus. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now judging by the many reviews we've seen of this game so far, it's clear that there's a lot of problems for many many players i mean a lot of the reviews i've seen especially ign games but they trashed this game unbelievably i mean i've played the game i've had it for three days and i've played it every single day played it on pc my pc ain't even great i got a 1060 graphics card 32 gigabytes of ram i7 nothing special run the game on low to medium settings and it runs perfectly fine for me haven't really had any bugs but considering they're fixing a thousand of them in a day one patch there's gotta be these bugs in the game guys there's no question about it so this goes for me as well no matter how good the game has been for you prior to release there's definitely issues there and like i said techland are dropping a patch uh, which is i believe 2.5 gigabytes on pc anyway console if console are even getting a day one patch i ain't even sure but on pc there's a day one patch coming five minutes after a launch which is 2.5 gigabytes so yes and this will fix over 1000 issues people now the actual issues we don't have details on all of them and going through a thousand would be absolutely ridiculous but we do have um, information on a few of them so yeah dialogue blocking story progression will be fixed the game no longer crashes when giving electrical parts to carlos in bazaar problems that arose when switching the difficulty level temporary will be solved Crashes when transitioning from the main menu to the loading screen are prevented. Missing sounds and voiceovers have been brought back. Objects and NPCs no longer sink into the ground. DLSS is now supported. Fixed a bug where NPCs and enemies become immortal. Fixed an issue where gamepads were not recognised. Streaming mode has been fixed. Problems with co-op sessions have been fixed. It was sometimes not possible to rejoin a co-op game. And it was also possible for sessions to end by themselves after a certain period of time so that's the information or what we have so far but there's clearly many many more fixes now the game for me like i said i reviewed it last night live shoot not scripted anything reviewed it as i played it really and to be honest like i said it was it's fine for me dying light fans will love it although i ain't having no problems it's definitely certain that many many definitely are there's no two which ways about it i know techland did say people who get it prior to release uh, don't play it because of this big day one patch but a lot of the reviews we have seen have come prior to the day one patch where all these bugs are still apparent so yeah take it as you will in my opinion the game's great i'm loving every second of it yeah there's a few minor issues i've experienced but nothing major people comparing the release of this to cyberpunk i, mean, I just don't get i don't get that honestly but yes guys day one patch coming 2.5 gigabytes on pc five minutes after launch be prepared to download this too but on that note the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one